Commander, to the bridge. I just want to play. I heard oh, good God. When we can... One eternity later. I have been spending like 30 minutes just trying to get to play a game. You just want to shoot something. No, just go. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I guess I just wish they still made new Atari games. was simpler. You can just jump into a game, start playing, and the graphics were just enough to let your imagination run wild like reading a good book. <sighs> Alexa, light it up. You got it. Let's drop some quarters. This will make me feel better. These were the greats, and Activision was always known as the best developers of Atari 2600 games. You had David Crane, one of the co-founders of Activision. He did Pitfall, Dragster, and then you had Dan and Gary Kitchen, who also did a lot of different games such as Crackpot, Donkey Kong, Ghostbusters, um, Keystone Capers, which everybody loves. They were great games just to jump into and play. I think David Crane actually invented what would eventually become the side-scroller, such as Mario with Pitfall. Pitfall was just revolutionary when it came out. It was something larger than typical games that you can go explore and they were physical games. You went to the store and you got a box and you took off the plastic and you opened the box and took the cartridge out. There was this like routine that was almost spiritual in a way that you had to go and procure this object and then plug it in. And once it was plugged in, then you can turn it on and begin to play the game. And downloadable content just doesn't have that same feeling. You know what I'm talking about. I just, I just wish they still made Atari games. Wait, that reminds me of something my friend Diana gave me. I wish they still made Atari games. Better yet, I wish the original developers of Activision made new Atari games. Hey, honey. What's up? Package came in. Oh, okay. All right, thanks. What could this be? Audacity Games. A hat. Wait a second. What the heck? This looks like an Atari 2600 box. By David Crane and Gary Kitchen. The David Crane was a co-founder of Activision and Gary Kitchen was also an Activision developer. For your Atari video computer system. And they signed it. Oh man. Look at that. A physical Atari box. Ah, look at that. Certificate of Authenticity. This is a real deal. This isn't a homebrew or anything. This is a real, new Atari 2600 game. And we get all sorts of toys with it. So obviously the game is called Circus Convoy. And that's what the hat was all about. We get a Circus Convoy truck, a trucker hat. What else do we got here? Circus Convoy belt buckle. You know I'm going to be sporting that. And everybody's going to look at this and go, 
Holy moly, he is cool. He got the new Circus Convoy game for the Atari. What else? Free gift enclosed. You know what the coolest thing is? This is the collector's edition. And the collector's editions all have serial numbers under 100. And the first 10 serial numbers are reserved. You can't get those. My serial number says right there, serial number 15. That's pretty cool. And my free gift is the nostalgic, if you remember Activision games, patch. I'm going to sport that too. As I was saying earlier, this is the collector's edition. There is a basic version where you can get the cartridge without the box. Then the collector's edition with a different color box, higher serial numbers, not the toys, but I got the VIP collector's edition because I guess I'm just extra like that. And, and look at that. Gary wrote me a little note here saying, hey, thanks for blah, 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 blah. We made no more than 250 of these patches. This is rare. Oh, look. This is not a home brew, it says. It's not a home brew. It's a pro brew. This is genuinely a brand new Atari 2600 game that came out in, yes, 2021. Who would have thought? This is cool. All right. Guess what? Serial number 15. People are going to freak out. What? Leave it sealed. Ah, uh, it's an extra special collector's edition. I'm not going to retire on this thing. I just want to play it. <sighs> For the first time in a long time, I'm opening an Atari 2600 game. Should I switch hats? Trade one trucker hat for another. Here it is. Oh, and it's in the old style Activision format. Where the board's exposed so it corrodes easier and when you plug it in 20 years later it's not going to work unless you get sandpaper to it. But that's okay, because guess what? When you buy this, you also get a downloader, you get a downloadable ROM that you can put on your Retro 77 and play that as well. So I guess I could have left this in the box sealed. I don't know where the serial number is. Instruction book, poster. We won't get into that right now. I don't know where the serial number is. Did I miss it on my Certificate of Authenticity? Oh yes, yes, yes. It's in this shiny part right here. Circus Convoy. Zero, zero, one, five. Man, I just feel like I just out-nerded everybody. I guess there's just one last thing to do. Read the instructions. Welcome to Circus Convoy. The first Atari 2600 game brought to you by David Crane and Gary Kitchen in over 30 years. And there we have it. First Pro Brew Atari 2600 game in decades. Let's jump in. We'll switch to the Retron in a second so we get a better recording, but just to start out. Register. Oh, you can register via QR code. Play. The controls are exceptional. The graphics are pretty good, considering. Hey, those are the birds from Barnstorming. And you can tell the classic Activision Sunset. Nice animation, too, for an Atari game. Oh, bricks, I got bricks, yay. 
hamburger. Lock and key. You may choose to unlock this item with a black key. Oh, kind of like adventure. Whoa. All right, let's switch to the Restaurant so you can see this a little better. So the story to the game is your Andre the Magnificent. He's a uh, part of a traveling circus and a competitive circus show sabotaged all their equipment. So he had to go fix everything. And here he is. The controls, like I mentioned, are pretty great. And we'll see like the birds flying by. That's reminiscent from barnstorming. You got the Activision sunset in the background, which is nice. Um, and so what we're going to do is go around and collect these objects. You see, I just got the bricks here, and you have to learn where to use all these objects. Here's a hamburger. Um, and kind of like Pitfall, uh, you can, you're on the top part, or you can go in the lower part as well. Get those binoculars there. You can't fall on the road. I've tried. But you just jump from truck to truck. So that's a, uh, I can unlock this with a black key. So it's a black key, kind of like a adventure. And you get to your inventory by pushing down and pressing the button. So here is what we have. Zero stars, zero fuel. I got three bricks and a hamburger. And binoculars and again we got to figure out where we need to use those oh look I've used the binoculars and now I'm looking at the next three cars so there's looks like a rabbit in a hat there's the black key I need to unlock that other one I just got to figure out how to get over there okay so what do I need to do give this guy a hamburger So you can see in the top left screen, it shows you what item you're using. And I don't, I guess I can't give this guy a hamburger, even though I really want to. Oh well. Y'all are probably going to hate me because I just jumped right into this game, never playing it before, so we're kind of exploring it together, but that's okay. It'll all come out in the edit, right? up some bombs and stars on the way so I will have to figure out what I need to blow up. I'll try to maybe use a bomb here because the hamburger's not working. I don't know what to do. So if you get stuck, what you can do is hit the game select button and it gives you a QR code to um, get some hints. So this will pull up an online guide. Let's see what that does. All right, 
that guy didn't give me too much context. Uh, maybe because I'm on the easiest level. Um, and I just accidentally restarted the game when I was fooling around with everything. So I'm just going to speed run and get all the items again. Parachute here. I'm gonna wait for a bird to come. Oh, wait. Oh, look. I guess that's how I get back, but how do I move forward? So, one thing about this is there's no acceleration or different cartridges. They developed this with all the same technology they did with. Keystone Capers and Pitfall. I gotta figure out how to get over there. Oh, he used the fuel and he speeds up. Look at that. Now, oh, there's a, I gotta figure out how to get past the bunny. Oh, and he just bends down and you jump over him. Okay, there's the black key. The gold key. Oh, 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 that's a scary plane. I'm going to go back and use the black key. See what we can unlock. Oh, you can fall off the truck. Yikes. All right. Let's use our parachute. Get back over there. Got a gun with 30 bullets. far enough. Oh, more parachutes. Um, I just opened up the alligator cart. Uh, let's see if I can get this guy to go fast. life. <sighs> and I'm dead. Well, I can certainly say that's a fun game. Alright folks, here's my final thoughts on it. I think it's an outstanding game. It's tons of fun right off the bat. You can just start jumping around, um, collecting things, figuring out what to do. It's a puzzle game as well as an uh, action game. So you're avoiding obstacles, collecting things, but then you have to think, what do you do with those obstacles? So it's, it's almost like uh, Pitfall meets Raiders of the Lost Ark. Or it's almost like Pitfall meets Adventure. So if you can put Pitfall and Adventure together to make a game, that obviously would be a great game, and this is what that's like. It, it's, it's great. It's fantastic. I'm going to give it 10 out of 10 stars 
because as soon as I'm done wrapping this up, I'm going to get back and start playing it again. So I'm super excited that uh, David Crane and Gary and Dan Kitchen decided to make more games and I think we need to get all the original Atari, Atari developers to uh, get on board with this. You know what I would want to see future titles from what developer? The guy that did this. Come on, it wasn't that bad of a game, you just didn't read the instructions. Uh, once you figured out how to play, it was, it was a pretty good game. It, it was... Yeah, whatever. But yeah, solid game. Super happy with it. Uh, there's a, another game coming out, I think next month, called um, Casey's Gold. Uh, and we'll be looking forward to that. Alright guys, thanks a lot. Um, you don't have to subscribe or like or anything because I, I really don't care. I'm not making any money off this. I just I just do this because I find things and I get excited about them and I think, oh, somebody else is going to want to know about this too. That's why you make the videos. So subscribe if you want. If you don't want to, that's cool too. All right. Bye.